Welcome to the show. I'm joined by Matt Brown. Morning to you, young Matt. Good morning. Right, let's kick off with headlines. Markets edge higher, await ECB. A big day for ECB. Yeah, Mario Draghi, ECB, That's the market's waiting for that, and we can't really do anything until that happens. Um, 12.45, and we've obviously got the presser afterwards. It's all about tapering, though, yep. and how much the ECB are going to start tapering the bond buying programme. Now, the problem is, if they're too aggressive, it's going to push the euro higher. And I think above one, well, around 120 versus the dollar, ECB starts to get a little bit nervous and, and kind of things start leaking out about, you know, trying to talk the euro down. So it's softly, softly approach, probably. Um, it's, it's the extent of the taper and how long they're looking to, to extend there. Is that six months? Is 12 months? There's going to be a lot of attention to the detail. Uh, I expect it might actually be more dovish than the market expects. So, um, yeah. Maybe a little bit of a sell-off in the euro after the announcement. Understood. Let's move swiftly on to FTSE 1 to watch. Barclays Bank, we obviously saw good numbers from Lloyd yesterday. Stinker from Barclays this yeah, morning. Yeah, Lloyd's, well, it's a mixed bag from Lloyd's. I mean, actually, it's the impairment charges going forward, I think, that's worrying, uh, certainly for Lloyd's. Um, and they're taking over, we, we spoke yesterday on the show about taking over MBNA and with the rising credit bubble in the UK that could actually cause a problem, yep. especially with interest rates going up. Okay, look, banks always perform well in a higher interest rate environment, but obviously there's going to be a lot of impairments. Now we look at Barclays. Now Barclays is a different beast. I mean, it's more of an investment bank and global investment bank. And unfortunately, when you compare it to the likes of other US and European investment banks, it's not been performing that well. The FX commodity bond trading is down a third. Um, and the market's punishing it. It's down about 5 or 6%. Now, Barclays, I think they were at about £2.40 back in, uh, well, Valentine's Day of this year. Now, investors have fallen out of love with the stock. It's now trading around 185 Now, yep. that's in a, in a bull market. In a, and, and banks are sorting themselves out. So really kind of Barclays. Massive underperformance. And it doesn't bode well for RBS. You combine the operations of Lloyd's and Barclays and, and look at what RBS does. And, well, that's a government-run company, pretty much, or government-owned. I don't think the numbers are going to be great from them. Understood. Let's move swiftly on to the pound. Great British pound, US dollar, 132.33. Obviously, a spike up yesterday. GDP numbers, better than anticipated. Interest rate hike next Thursday. Yeah, o o over to you, Mr. Carney, uh, and the MPC, and we're going to watch that one very closely. But the thing to bear in mind, interest rate hike really is priced in yep. to the pound. Um, so it's priced to disappoint, potentially. Understood. And you're a great British pound, 89.30, all eyes on Mr. Draghi, as yes, always. Yes, indeed. Right, let's move mm. on to the core number today, 35.4 billion. This was a newspaper headline you picked up. Yeah, City AM, um, 35.4 billion, almost 36 billion, has been paid in taxes by the UK banks to the Treasury in the last fiscal year. That's a huge number. And you know, obviously we're looking at the profits not as much. I think Barclays made a £1 billion profit, but obviously giving away a lot of tax. Um, it'd be nice if some of the tech companies and larger companies were paying as much. But that, I mean, that's the equivalent, as it says in the City AM, to the UK's defence budget for a year. So, look, banks, obviously the handouts we saw almost 10 years ago, but they do pay their way in the sense of taxes and obviously big employers as well in the UK. OK, and let's wrap up today with the economic calendar. Obviously, nothing really counts apart from the ECP rate decision and Mr Draghi's thoughts on the way forward. Yeah, we'll be tuning in uh, to the press uh, with our lunch. I think that is key in the markets, really. Uh, edging higher on the equity markets, but volumes are going to be light Really, you know, all ice the ECB at lunchtime today. OK, to wrap up, worth noting on the breadth indicators, the S&P 500, the number of constituents above the 200-day moving average is dwindling. It's worth taking a look at the Ronnie Chopra video. He suggested a pairs trade basically going along the FTSE 100 short of the S&P. There's the thought of the day from me. Have a good day. Thank you.